Clyde, congratulations for making it into the province newspaper on page I said A9 of Wednesday's July 10th or uh, July 8th newspaper. Congratulations. You're my newest community reporter for AHA Media and now you're in the province newspaper Wednesday, July 8th on page A9. Tell me more about this. Um, when they interviewed me for this, I was running for president at Vandu. Okay. As it is presently, and um, a suspended board member. Okay. For unable to control my anger. Okay. So I'm, I'm to take anger management sessions. All right. As far as I'm concerned it's not necessary on the grounds that I don't tie into some of the uh, Vandu members or give them attitude unnecessary. Ah, so, so it's, a, it's a political thing that they said for yeah. you to go and, and seek um, anger management counseling. Because of all the years that I've seen you on this, in, in similar um, street rallies and, and meetings, I've never known for you to have an anger management problem. In fact, you know, as a young woman of, of, you know, minority and of color, I've seen you always helping women. I've seen you always doing great things. And and as the producer, publisher, and the leader of Aha Media, I'm I'm surprised that someone would give you that uh, that order. But that's it's an in-house. In it's an in-house. I understand the politics of Vandu are, are you know can be different. But uh, tell me more about this um, new. Um, a theater project you're going to get oh, under, yes, this year, underway. The homelessness theater headlines here. Yes, I think you'd be brilliant for yeah, it. Yeah, I do qualify on the grounds that I am, was and am homeless presently. Again. Okay. So basically, let me see. Headlines Theater is looking for oh people to audition for their new um, homelessness theater. Yes. Headline Theater is exciting to launch a photo contest seeking photographs to speak to the following what it feels like to have been homeless and how to find oneself in unsafe housing. Yeah, I understand. Uh, and yeah. you do a lot of great work with um, C this area, CCAP, Bandu, Bandu. Wars, mm -hmm. uh, Aboriginal Front Door, mm -hmm. uh, at times Life Skills, yes. and there's Insight. Yes. Then there are the um, First United Church where I first started volunteering when I got down here. I seldom volunteer there now on the ground that I'm involved more so with other. You're doing stuff. so many great things, and you're also part of AHA Media for doing yes, community reporting on what's happening in, in our area. So I'm. I'm happy to write you a reference letter or to help you um, practice and for your um, monologue that Headlines Theatre is asking for. And this is to showcase homelessness in the Vancouver downtown east side. And um, by putting on a play, they hope to uh, reach an audience that may not understand what it is to be homeless. Yes, um, I'd like to, well, there isn't any qualifications in this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, other than the fact that I was homeless, I wasn't, and uh, I am homeless again. Mm -hmm. so. You understand what the issues are, and, and you're also doing these surveys for yeah. BC Housing, are you not? Actually, I was doing the applica applications for supportive housing. Ah, yes, yes, I remember that. Uh, the applicants now are seeing Wendy Peterson one at a time, and there are 100 applicants. Mm -hmm. be, I'm assuming, guessing, hoping that they will be fast tracked on the grounds that they are homeless, they are in shelters, or that they're camping out somewhere because they're not in shelters. A number of people don't like the shelters on the grounds of noise or smell. Mm -hmm. Just some people's attitude. The politics are yeah. are very are very hard to deal with sometimes too. Yeah. Just recently, one shelter on Granville has been shut down because of uh, drug drugs either being sold, consumed, or the neighbors being harassed. And the 
other shelter on ground will is on probation mm -hmm. for that. The next possible shelter that may be shut down might could be First United Church on Hastings and Gore. Hmm. So. I hope that they do extend it. Yeah. We do need shelters. We we do need supportive housing. We do need housing for all our homeless folks, and and not all of our homeless folks are presumed Trolls. troublesome or extreme drug addicts or extreme anything. We just heard from our friend Sarah, who is homeless, who lives with her son, and she was a kind soul and. Uh, and she's a, an Aboriginal woman, an elder Aboriginal woman who, who has a beautiful singing voice. Yourself, you're homeless and you're a good man and um, other members of our society do need a home, you know. We're, any one of us can be one paycheck away from being homeless. Exactly. It does not have to be a predetermined thing. You can be homeless at any time in life. And we are living in a recession, so... I thank you, um, Clive, for your continued positive spirit in the downtown east side. Before closing, there, I'll just read this what I what was said. In the yeah, article. please. And because it's somewhat concise and to the point, it is Good. what's required down here for okay. drug users need to support groups down here. We need more rehab and detox. We need former users who go you used to used to go to talk using the and seeing and you sure? Yeah. Drug users need support groups down here. We need more rehab and detox. We need former users who don't use to go to talk to users in the group down here. Everything is a trigger. And if you need a buddy system, so be it. If you want to quit, you should have somebody there to help you. There aren't enough treatment centers down here for hobbyists, as I call them, or addicts. Drugs should be decriminalized, legalize them, and tax them, regulate them. Insight, I'm all for it. It saves lives. There's, I'm quite happy that it was open for injection users. They should have an inhalation site for people who smoke their products a designated area that Van du Van du could watch over. And we need affordable housing, social housing, because the hotels down here are just single rooms. People need their own private washrooms with a shower. A kitchen is negotiable, but it would be nice to have. Because Great. you have family, you got friends that are from out of town. You don't, uh, you don't want to go to a restaurant might be too expensive so yeah, it'd be oh, nice yeah. to cook at home it yeah. would be and you know you want to give people that live in this area a sense of dignity and respect and honor for themselves to live exactly. like human beings instead of these some of these escrow hotels which it's the bathroom so down the hall is just gross it is it's like a ghetto it is a ghetto this is a self um i don't know i don't i I, I'm, I can't even scratch the surface on the politics of this area but you know, this area needs a lot of help and we're trying to do our best to get the message out there in a positive fashion to enlighten people and to let people realize there are real people like myself and you that live in this area that do good things. Treat them like a human, they'll treat you like a human. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Clyde, for everything today. Thank Great, thank you.